All right, it's time to put the bottom half actually on the crankcase since it's upside down. It's uh, actually the bottom part of the crankcase. So at first, I, I the crankcase I bead blasted or sand blasted to get everything cleaned up. That's why you can tell it's not that seafoam green color anymore. Uh, and then I prepared the, the surface, the mating surface, by using some acetone and make sure it was really clean. Then I used this uh, uh, 1211 silicone bonding a liquid gasket and made a nice bead just all the way around um, uh, the top half of the crankcase. You want to use as little as possible uh, because when it mates together it's going to squish it out and you don't want a lot to squirt inside the engine. So once you have this nice bead all the way around, a continuous bead all the way around, Make sure your bearing seats, these little pins, are seated um, into the little holes. So you just turn them until they seat. And then you can grab your bottom half of the crankcase. And you can line up the PTO side and the flywheel side. And just lay it on over, matching up the bolt holes. Now there's two sets of pins in, in these as well. Um, the one in the front and one in the back, so you want to make sure that those pins line up. And then once they're all lined up, you can put the bolts in and then tighten them to torque spec. And the numbering of tightening is, is written right on the case, so 1 all the way through um, 16, 19, 21, 20, and 21 on this side.